Okay, welcome back guys to cxcmatwitter.com This is another video again from cxcmatwitter.com um, If you guys want to watch more videos visit cxc that's cxcmatwitter.com okay all the videos on this website are free okay so if you guys want to watch more videos visit cxcmatwitter.com okay so let me just erase this just to give myself the space now i'm doing a past paper question the csec uh maths uh past paper this is for the january 2013 exam okay now i'm actually redoing this video I did it before, but uh, when I do a quick review of the video, I realize I make a slight mistake. Okay, so I'm actually redoing this video. Um, you know, sometimes I do review my video and I realize I make a small little mistake, and I have the time today, so I'm just going to um, redo the video and upload it. Okay, so the first one I deleted, and this is a redo of the, the first video. Okay, a slight little mistake. It happens now got a little bit too fast okay so now in this video we're looking at um again a csec um past paper um this is um uh, the january 2013 exam and we're doing uh paper two question one b uh is it question two b actually we're doing okay so we're going to do two b first and um in future videos we're going to move on to the um, other sections okay so let us um, do this one now um, factorize completely um, part one is said uh, 25 m square minus 1 okay and that's two marks and uh, part two is 2 n square minus 3 n minus 2 minus 20 um, that's two marks another two marks again so a total of four marks um for this question okay so let's go ahead and do part one here it said factorize completely and notice that this is actually a difference of square question okay um so you let us see here we have 25 m square minus one okay this is a difference of square because um 25 m square is a perfect square and one is also a perfect square okay um 25 is a perfect square and um the one is also a perfect square now we can actually rewrite this as um 5 m square minus one square okay and using the formula for difference of square this is pretty much equal to 5 m plus one times 5m minus 1 okay and um, this is it, it's uh, pretty much that's it um, remember guys if you have a situation we have f uh, a square minus b square okay using difference of square this can be a plus b times a minus b okay or if you want to write it as a minus b times a plus b okay it's the same um, thing it doesn't matter how you write it um, a plus b times a minus b or a minus b times a plus b okay to find the a you pretty much take the square root the square root of the a square and the to find the b you take the square root of the b square okay uh, that's all you pretty much find the a and the b's okay so the answer for part one here um is the answer is this okay this is your answer um 5m plus 1 times 5m minus 1 okay so moving on to part two moving on to part two um so this is a uh, 2n square minus 3n minus 20 okay so the question is um well the objective here is to break up this middle term here 
break up this middle term into two terms okay this is a trend this is a trinomial uh three uh two n square minus three n minus 20 is a trinomial so we want to break up this middle term into two terms and we have a total of four terms okay uh the first one is two n square the middle term is going to break up into two and we have the last term is minus 20 a total of four terms okay so how can we break up the middle term by pretty much finding um factors of uh of the product of two times negative 20 okay so let's call this um for example let's call this a b let's call this term a let's call this term b let's call this term c okay so the a represent the two the b represent the negative three and the c represent the negative um 20. okay so if you have um a all right a c is equal to uh two times negative 20 is equal to negative 40. okay so what you're pretty much trying to do here is to find factors of negative 40 such that when you multiply those factors you're going to get negative 40 and also when you add those same factors you're going to get negative 3. so you have to find factors of 40 of negative 40 and it turns out that those factors are actually um negative 8 times positive 5 okay because negative 8 times 5 is negative 40 and if you had negative 8 plus 5 you're going to get negative 3 okay now in future videos and i believe i've already um uploaded a video already to show you guys how can you find the factors for example um of negative 40 such that those factors when you multiply it you're going to get negative 40 and when you add it you're going to get negative 3 which is a middle term so we can use these two factors to break up the middle term here okay so let's go ahead and do that so i'm just going to erase this here uh remember you guys can always pause the video just to um to get the notes okay and just erasing so i can um so i can um get the space so we have um 2n square minus 3n minus 20. okay and so we're going to the factors we get was minus 8 times 5 okay and we're going to use these two factors to break up this middle term here okay so we can rewrite this expression as 2n square um minus 8n plus 5n minus 20. notice minus 8n plus 5n gives you minus 3n and that's what we want we want to break up the minus 3n into two terms okay so now we have a total of four terms one two three four terms okay and now we can go ahead and factor this by um, grouping so we can group these two terms and factor those and then we can also group these other two terms and factor those as well okay so let's go ahead and do that so if you factor uh 2n square minus 8n we can get a factor of 2 and also we can get a factor of n okay because 2 is common to both 2n square minus 8n and n is also co um, common because n is in both terms okay so we get a factor of 2n leave back with n minus 4 okay plus we get a factor here of 5 because 5 is common to both 5n and minus 20 okay so leave back with n minus 4 okay now we notice that n minus 4 is also a factor of these two terms okay so we can pull out n minus 4 and we leave back with 2n plus 5 okay and this is the the um the factor of um 2n square minus 3n minus 20 and this is actually factored completely okay so the, the complete factor for 2n square minus 3n minus 20 will be n minus 4 times 2n plus 5 okay and this is actually the answer 
okay this is the answer um for part two of this um of this question okay and this will earn another two marks a total of um four marks um for this question okay now if you guys want to see exactly how do i get the factor of minus eight and five for the negative um for the negative 40 um you guys can check out one of my videos to show you how to factor um quadratic expression like these okay um again this is uh this is it for this video um if you guys have any more questions regard to this video you can leave a comment on a comment on this video um if not you can um uh subscribe to the uh the video or the channel okay it's always good to subscribe to the channel or, or to this video uh, because whenever you subscribe youtube will um notify you whenever i upload uh, a new video okay i make any changes to the channel okay so you guys will always be updated with new in some information um on the channel so that's it uh, for this video